it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm giving you guys a tour of my office because I feel like this is really like everything I've ever wanted in an office and I'm just so excited about how it's turned out. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. My husband and I worked really hard to make sure that it looks super awesome. So with that being said, before we get started, I would love if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below and now let's go ahead and get started. So here is a brief overview of the place. Um, this is a combined office for the two of us. I have my stuff on one side and Mason's stuff is kind of like on this side. So we're gonna start on his side and work our way around. So obviously first when you walk in the door, you have the door, how fun. And then we have a trash can down here. It's kind of overflowing, but whatever. We wanna do something different with this, but for now, this is kind of just what we're working with. So I have my record player here and then my records are down here. Mason has some Xbox games. He doesn't actually play any of these, but memorabilia, I guess. This is literally an empty container, the printer. And then we've just got stuff in little baskets because because they fit. We don't know where else to put that stuff. And then here is his side of the office. And honestly, like his cable management is top notch. The only kind of cables you can see are these ones right here, but you have this plant that kind of covers it. You have his headset that covers it and also the wires from the lamp situation. So it looks really, really good. But up here we have a snake plant. This is a real plant. And then this is his computer. This is like the actual computer part. And then this is some art. A friend of ours, his name is Will Paul. He's an incredible artist and he did a fundraiser and included those prints. And then of course we have this hanging plant from Ikea and that's being used to kind of hide cables. And then we have these prints right here. These two I took in Puerto Rico and then that one is from Unsplash. And then on his desk, he kind of just has, well, a cup of water, but hit. this is the monitor, his keyboard and mouse, a tiny tripod in case he needs it, his Xbox controllers, um, something for streaming. And we have a Wi-Fi like extender back there. And then he's got some decor right there. I think he did a really great job. The desk itself is from Target. It was like 60 bucks, so it was a really great deal. And this chair we actually got for free from my dad. It was broken, so he fixed it and gave it to us. And then he has this pillow because this is kind of an uncomfortable chair. And then right here, you can see there's construction going on out there. We just have the window. I love this window. Um, I love the curtains because they are like the perfect color. They filter light so we can close them if we want. There's also like, but I love the window. It's super awesome. And then we have my side of the office. So this is a bag that I'm taking on a weekend trip, so that's why that's sitting here but let's start from the top I want to put some vintage cameras up there but we just haven't gotten around to getting them out of the attic yet but the this is my thriller slash non-fiction shelf so it is in alphabetical order the ones with the little tabs on it are the ones I have not read yet the ones without tabs I have read um, I read a lot of books on my Kindle which is why I have a lot of unread books and a lot of these are thrifted which is why I have so many unread but I've got some favorites and some again unread just kind of to give you a little overview of the books on this shelf I have a lot of Karen Slaughter here. Some fun stuff there. A few more thrillers. And then right here we have some bible things. So this is a HCSB. This is just Gospel of John. This is an NIV Bible. And then I've got a bunch of Bible studies right here from She Reads Truth and the Daily Grace Co. Have a couple of books and stuff. And then down here I have this is like my books about England. So that kind of stuff. Also there's a nap back there. Ignore that. And then and then I've got some like magazines and stuff right here. Um, some memoir type books. So like Anne Frank. Um, this one is like a true crime book. Ellie Wiesel, Magnolia Story, random stuff. Got some like drawing books, like artistic books, so like photography, um, Instagram, things like that. And then these are some topical studies. Um, and then down here we have Mason's books and a couple DVDs. After I stand up, we move on to, I do have my tripod back here and this is my cable management and I have some stuff under here that's outlets. And then on my desk, I was just using it. So that's why the keyboard and the mouse are out. But first I have this chair. It's really old. It's from Ikea. I bought it on Facebook for like 10 bucks like five years ago, um, but it's still getting the job done. And then I have a blanket because this air conditioning blows on me right here sometimes. So have that chair. The desk is from Ikea. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Those are the Alex drawers though. And then it's just those leg and the tabletop. It was like $150. I think the most expensive part was the drawers. And then on top of the desk, cup of water, um, I have two candles um, and then I have a charger. This is what charges my mouse, but it also charges my phone. 
and then I have this is the magic trackpad from Apple it's a godsend when it comes to editing so I prefer to edit with the trackpad and then I just have this keyboard I got from Amazon then we have my monitor that Mason gifted to me um, when I hit 10k and then I have this monitor stand which is incredible which I also got from Ikea I think it was $35 but in here I've got some fun stuff got some Polaroids extra SC cards back there um, a lighter for the candles some pencils and pens more pens more pens um, just this notepad if I need to write something down so that's nice and then obviously my laptop is right here it just slid under the thing so that's nice and then don't ask me why I have the spray bottle of cleaner it's just there pretend it's not but I have this little wooden thing that I thrifted I got it from Goodwill and I'm obsessed with it I just keep like receipts and papers and things whenever I haven't like figured out what to do with them yet and then if you don't know I have an Etsy shop where I sell stickers so this is where I have the stickers that like there's a lot of and then I have all my other stickers in here paper clipped together because there are smaller quantities of them and I'm obsessed with this thing I feel like at one point it had a third drawer but it's not there anymore there's that and I'm obsessed with the way this looks it's very mid-century and then I have this pretty little base that is also from Ikea I think it was three dollars and then this little thing of floweries I just liked the way it looked I thought it was pretty and then I have another candle and a little jewelry box and then back there I have it velcroed actually so that it stays um, but also so I can remove it if I need to it's my battery charger for my camera so that way it's out of the way and then above the desk I'm obsessed with the setup I have this is a map of London from Mapiful. It says United Kingdom but it's supposed to say London <laughs> um, and then this is a magnetic like rod thing so I use like a um, command velcro type thing and put it on the back and that was super easy to hang up and then this bamboo shelf for my Ikea. I have this letterboard that says welcome home, teacup right there, and then to add some height I put Daisy Jones in the six. One because the colors just vibe really well but because that is one of my favorite books. And this whole desk setup just makes me so incredibly happy. Um, and then while I'm over here, I guess I'll show you what's in my drawers. The top drawer is kind of messy, but it's stuff that I reach for regularly. Um, this is my book stamp, my iPad, and some notebooks with a calendar, stuff like that. And then this is extra stuff that I don't reach for very often because it's hard to get to. This drawer has a planner, my book tabs, some scissors, more, I think these are stickers and just like random bits and bobs back there. This drawer is deeper. It has a pair of scissors. Um, this is some Velcro for cable management. Um, and then some thumbtacks because I have a board over there. Heating pad. And then I have just a bunch of pens there. Sharpies and then like mild liners. In this drawer is a bunch of random stuff. Um, a friend of mine went to Book Bonanza and got this in her like welcome kit. And she, I'm not going to say she isn't a fan of Colleen Hoover, but she just like hasn't read any of her books. So she sent me this because she knows I'm a big fan. And then just some random things. I have a pen from Disney World world, um, some little trays, nail stuff, cards, uh, scissors, I mean tape, I have my Polaroid printer in here along with extra film back there. So that's just a random Mod Podge of things but still things that like I use and want to access. And then this bottom drawer is all of my nail supplies. So this is my pleasing nail polish. And then this is my regular polish and then I have a gel polish in that stasher bag back there. Got some press-ons and just and that's what's in the desk. And then we're almost done. We have this shelf, which is my favorite of all time. So we'll start from the top. I do have one camera here, so I want to put another one here. And that's what I want to do over there. And then here we have, if you see these books, the ones that are turned around are the ones that I haven't read yet. And it's kind of like an incentive to get me to read the ones on my shelf. Because instead of just continuing to buy more, because I want them to face the correct way. This is actually a pencil sharpener, but it looks like a camera. So I think that's cool. So I have it sitting on top of my... Sarah Adams books and I'm getting a new one soon so I'm excited about that. I have the new Elena Armas book actually on the way here. It'll be here Monday. And then of course these are all the books I've read. Again this is in alphabetical order so it's not in order by like preference or anything. Um, I did display books that I liked a lot so I feel like having this orange candle on top of my Emily Henry books just looks really good. This is where all of my Colleen Hoover books are. I would like to talk to the person who created the Never Never series like why did you have to make the third one so much taller? <laughs> um, I do have two copies of maybe someday because maybe someday has a new cover and I like the new and better and 
I have two copies of A Thousand Splendid Sons because that's my favorite book of all time. This is the only one on this section I haven't read yet. And then I've got some Taylor Jenkins read. This one doesn't actually go here, but I just needed to find a place for it. Got some Christina Lauren and my car keys for some reason are right here. That's not where they go. A bunch of books I haven't read yet there. And then more on the bottom I haven't read. And then all the way down there in the bottom is mostly just like notebooks. And then I have some techie things in that box. Also, that's my DSLR camera that I use for like photography. And then more pens and markers and stuff. So I love this shelf. And then I have this light, which is from Ikea. I don't think they sell it anymore. I feel like I need to give you guys a backstory a little bit. So some things were purchased online from Facebook um, if they were from Ikea. We live like two hours away from Ikea. So when we go, it's like very, we're like very specific about what we're buying. But I will tell you that Mason and his dad, they have run Airbnb properties in the past. And so a lot of the furniture that's from Ikea is stuff that was in those properties that are no longer there. So like the shelf over here and this light. So like we didn't buy them specifically for this room, but we figured that they worked really well in this space. So we put them there, but it's hung up on the ceiling. It's connected to an Alexa device. So hold on. Alexa, turn on office. And I just think this looks super cool. And then down here is a majority of the products and shipping supplies for my Etsy shop. So this is like all shipping supplies. So like stamps, freebie stickers, packaging stickers, more stamp stuff, thank you cards, bubble mailers. These are like my smaller bubble mailers that are not branded. Um, prints and notebooks and other stuff down there, more bubble mailers and everything there. So that's majority. So that way, if I need to do something related to my Etsy shop, I can just pull this out and get everything that I need from here. And then I can kind of just put it back in the corner when I'm not using it, which is nice. Um, we have this utility cart. I got this for my 21st birthday from Target when they were still like $25. I'm 26 now. So I've had it for like five years. It was used as our like garage in our old house house and so now I can finally use it for something I want to use it for and then I have this little bulletin board I guess it's a, a cork board with all of not all of but I have a bunch of Polaroids on here some of them are like legitimate Polaroids it's so like this one these two I like actually these three these four actually no this whole bottom row minus that one were taken with like a legit Polaroid camera but then some of them were like printed so like this one was printed this one was printed and like quotes were printed but some of them are like from an actual Polaroid and then others are not and then we have the closet we've got some like clothes and stuff in there I have a ton of bubble mailers because I had a bunch of credits or vacuum cleaners in there because there is an outlet, which is nice. I have that, but yeah, just a bunch of stuff. And once again, here is the overview of the office. This room is probably my favorite room in our house simply because I feel like I put my entire heart and soul into this room and I messed around with layout and furniture and all this other stuff before we moved and I was just so looking forward to upgrading my space for my books and my desk and my computer and all that fun stuff and kind of just making it look more intentional with the way that it looks. So I wanted to share it with you guys just because I'm so obsessed and this is also where I film my videos and I spend a majority of the weekday in this room. So thought I'd share it with you guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will try to link as much stuff as I can down below. Not sure how possible that is, but I'll try to. And um, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!